Hi, I'm Richard Madison, and I'm author of Mel Faye's Bluegrass Pickers Tune book. And this is Molly and Ten Brooks, one of the songs in the book. And I'll play a little bit of it for you now. <laughs> created the bluegrass genre when Bill Monroe uh, and also Ralph Stanley's band recorded it. And that was when Bill Monroe recorded it with uh, Earl Scruggs. Bill Monroe plays it with a capo on the fourth fret and he sings it really high. So I got a capo on the fourth fret here and I, I play it out with the G chord the same way he does it. And this is um, basically the chords. It's G two three four G two three four G two three four C two three four C two three four G two three G two three four G two three two three four G G two D G G two three four G two three four G two three four C two three four C two three four G two three G two three four G basically the chords from Molly and Ten Brooks. And uh, it's about the horse race at Louisville, Kentucky, Churchill Downs in 1878. And it's a, uh, Molly was the best horse on the West Coast and Ten Brooks was the best uh, horse on the East Coast. And they got together and they had, it was a $10,000 purse. And that's like probably about a couple million dollars today. And it was uh, one of the most important horse races of its time. Molly uh, actually was beating Ten Brooks. It was a four mile race for two and a half miles. And then it was really hot. It was on July 4th, it just rained the day before. And then uh, she got worn out and the track was slow. And uh, she started pulling, falling behind on the last mile and a half. And, uh, Ten Brooks easily won at the end because Molly just couldn't keep up at the end. Got worn out and tired. So in the in the actual song, Bill Monroe has it the same way. Basically, Molly overheats and then he actually has a horse die. Molly actually dies and and uh, Ten Brooks uh, is sitting in the shade. So that's kind of the way the Bill Monroe version goes. So I'll go over uh, uh, the song again slowly with the chords and then you can kind of play along with it. So this is uh, starts off on G. What I'll do is I'll play through it once and then I'll sing with it slowly. So it's G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, C, back to G.
usually do a A, B flat, open B. It's a little spicy little lick there, and it goes. So I'll do it again real slowly. So you slide up from an E to a G. Then you play a G chord here. That's Molly and Ten Brooks. A little bit about the story of Molly and Ten Brooks. You can see the uh, my painting of Molly and Ten Brooks, and also some information on the uh, website with a little solo.